time to wine and dine with me. I'm Jess, your pampered chef. Join me and let's bring it back to our tables. Let's get inspired and turn everyday ordinary into something really extraordinary. We can do this right here in our kitchens using the inspiration of the wonderful, high quality and very fun products of The Pampered Chef. Thanks for pressing play on the video that you've located on my Facebook page for Pampered Chef. I am Jess, your Pampered Chef. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what to expect from these videos since this is my first one. I'm gonna make these videos as quick as possible and make them efficient. Make sure that these are easy recipes that the big foodie enthusiasts would get excited about, but also the ones who dread opening up their oven or looking at any kind of cookware might slightly get a little inspired, hopefully that's the goal, and want to cook some fresh meals for themselves or their families. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a risotto. This is called a no-stir risotto. If you've ever made risotto, you know that risotto takes a long time. You have to stir, stir, stir. I personally, whenever I make it, I get a little nervous if I'm making it for others uh, because you never quite know if it's gonna turn out. So it's a little bit of a gamble. Have it, you know, perfected the risotto um, process. However, I'm going to show you a way for the biggest cooking novice to cook risotto. It will be super simple. So I'm going to introduce to you the products I'm going to be using as I go along and use them. This is what uh, Pampered Chef calls the rock, um, sorry, I can, <laughs> I can never say it right, rock crock. Do you see why I have a hard time with that? Um, but anyways, the rock crock is very versatile. You're not going to believe this. This thing goes in the microwave. It goes on top of the stove. It goes in the oven. It also goes on your grill. I'm not even joking. Except for this, does not go on the grill, so never put the lid um, in the grill with the rock crock. Okay, um, so you're gonna need the rock crock to do this recipe. Um, I do have some chicken here, we're gonna get to that soon. This is about a half a pound, well actually, it's two larger chicken breasts, so it's gonna equal about three quarters of a pound. Um, if you have a full pound, fantastic, more the merrier, I say. Um, so we're gonna get started and grate some of the cheese here. Actually, before I do that, let me show you what you're going to need here because this is really important. Um, the type of rice you need, you cannot really use long grain rice. You can, it's not going to turn out the same. Whenever you eat risotto in a restaurant, it's always arborio rice, okay? So this rice right here, this one I actually got at Whole Foods. Um, you can find it in some grocery stores, but to tell you the truth, it's a little hard to find. Your local grocery store may have it, so check it out. Um, Whole Foods has a big selection of them. So they're always good for the fancy rice, okay? Um, and that is right here in our measuring cup, okay? It's called a one cup all measuring cup. I'm not even quite sure, but it's really cool because you can put um, liquids and salads in the big cup. And then if you turn it around, which I'm not gonna do because the rice will spill out, you can put like peanut butter, butter, things like that. And the other side, you could check it out on my website, which I will have at the end of the credits, um, all these cool products and what makes them extra special, okay? Um, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and use our microplane cheese grater. Now this is kind of cool because you can use it like this, do, 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 get really fancy, or you could use it like this, which is what I'm going to do, okay? And we're going to grate up a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, okay? I'm going to do that, see that? However, we're going to use the magic of editing and television. I will come back to that. In the meantime, I want to show you what I'm gonna do with an onion. You want a small onion or a medium-sized onion um, for this recipe. So you're gonna be doing, um, this is called a Santoku knife, which is forged cutlery. It's German heavy-duty steel. I love this knife. Oh my God, I'm in heaven with this knife. I'm telling you, if you use knives a lot like, like I do, and you put a nice one in your hand, which it's been a long time since I've had a really nice um, knife for chopping, you will notice a difference, I promise you this. So anyways, I'm just gonna put this um, in what we call the manual food processor. Coolest gadget ever, oh my gosh, I love it. You're gonna love this thing. Okay, so here it is, see this? There's no electrical wires, nothing. I'm gonna put that in there. Actually, I'm also gonna go ahead and add my garlic at this time. You're gonna do two to three cloves of garlic I'm gonna do one right now to show you what that looks like. If you notice, I didn't even peel this garlic. It's amazing. Watch this. I'm gonna put it in the garlic press. You see that? Okay, here we go. We're gonna press it out. Boom. 
There we are. Put that in there. And when I lift it up, oh my God, look at that. It came right out. Perfection. Okay, so I finished putting the three coats of garlic in the manual food processor. It's called the MFP. Okay, we're gonna do that for the sake of the long name. I'm gonna put this top on the MFP here. You just put it right on top, and this little handle you push down. look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and put a tablespoon, one tablespoon of butter in the rock crock here and overheat. I'll move my camera so you actually see that. And then I'm going to add the onion and the garlic and we're going to stir that and let that Okay, I have reduced my heat to like low, I would say a little over low. I have the arborio rice here. I'm going to add that. And we are gonna let this um, just get a little toasty. So I would say keep it stirring for probably approximately two to three minutes would do the trick. And then we'll return back to the counter and I will show you. Okay, I start to smell the aroma. It's like nuttiness and I smell that caramelized onion smell and the garlic. I wish you guys could smell this right now. I took it off the heat. You don't have to transfer to your counter. This is just for the sake of the video. Um, and now I'm going to add three and a half cups of chicken stock, okay? And we're going to stir that in. Once again, using the mini um, scraper spatula, very durable. These are wonderful. I've had my scraper for, I want to say, eight years, if not more, maybe eight years ago. So you're going to stir that in really, really nice. And... Then put in some black pepper. I don't really measure my salt and pepper. It's more, I eyeball it. So um, always put a little bit of salt and pepper in everything you do. That's just my little cooking tip that I give you. Okay, I have a little bit of salt here. I'm just gonna put a dab. I did use low sodium uh, chicken broth. I like to control the amount of sodium. And I also like to know um, what types of spices or sodium are going into my dish, as much as possible at least. Um, while that is, well actually, oh, I didn't even tell you what's gonna happen next. See this, put the lid on. I'm gonna transfer this to the microwave. Yeah, the microwave, that's right. For 15 to 17 minutes until the liquid absorbs. We're gonna pull it out and I'll show you it. In the meantime, perfect time for me to cook my chicken breast. I'm gonna go ahead and use our silicone basting brush. I have a little bit of olive oil here. I'm gonna throw this on my grill, like outside that grill, because I love my grill. I grill um, all summer, all fall. Winter, I will grill um, up until about 15 degrees outside. <laughs> One year, I wanted to go out there, and if there's so much snow, I couldn't get to the grill, so then I decided to not grill. So anyways, you're gonna put that on um, both sides. I just, I'm not gonna spend the time to flip it in front of you. I'll do it when I um, turn this off. And you're gonna put some salt, very basic seasonings for this on this. You can add, a, if you really like another type of seasoning, I just thought it would be nice to just have a little bit of salt and pepper so it doesn't completely contrast with the flavors of what's going on here with this awesome risotto. We'll be right back. I'm gonna cook my chicken breast um, for roughly five to six minutes on each side. And as that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and have this in the microwave for 15 to 17 minutes. Okay, a lot has happened since you blinked, okay? Magic just happened in this kitchen. This is, I'm so excited for this right now. Okay. So I just pulled this out of the microwave, ready? I'm gonna unveil. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but there it is, okay? So, the chicken turned out beautifully, all right? I put it on the grill, uh, medium to high heat, like I said, five to six minutes per side. And now I'm gonna stir in another tablespoon of butter. Yes, I'm sorry to tell you, but risotto is known for its rich flavor. Where do you think that comes from? If you get it in the restaurants, let me tell you, they're putting in like a half a pound. Okay, so little secret to restaurants from a girl who has worked in restaurants for about 23 years. Butter, that's what they do. Okay, so we're going to stir that in. I'm like getting a facial here, a <laughs> steam. Okay, now I have a half a cup of the grated parmesan cheese. I didn't measure it. I like parmesan, so I just went for it. So do whatever you'd like. These flexible mats here, cutting mats, they have a silicone bottom so they don't skid. And did you see what I did? I was able to fold it and throw my ingredients right in there without making a mess. So those come in a set of three. You'll find everything in the catalog, okay? So if you're interested, just go on the website. You'll see everything in the catalog. I'm gonna put in my beautiful chicken. Look at it. Oh, it's so sweet. Look at how beautiful 
Oh, this is a romantic dish too. This would be a good Valentine's dish. You guys, I'm telling you, this smells amazing. Oh, it's like I still smell a little nuttiness from when that was toasting, when the rice was toasting, and you've got the garlic, and fantastic. Now, I just used some um, sun-dried tomatoes. I chopped them up. Um, they're in a jar. Um, you can get them at uh, anywhere, really. And you put them in here. Notice I'm still using my mix and scraper. So I'm gonna stir that in. Now, you can get creative with this dish if you want. You could add some nice chopped kale. You could add fresh spinach. At this point in the meal, you stir. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, I have fresh, I'm an herby girl. I love flavor, I love herbs. I grow herbs in my um, garden. So, don't feel like you need to have this part, but it just adds some extra freshness. I've got some basil, and I also have some fresh oregano. I'm just gonna, I could dice it, but whatever. I'll just throw it right in there. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you one more thing, because this isn't the first time I've used this knife. This knife, the Santoku knife I keep on talking about, I keep on talking about it because it is the best knife I have ever used. And look at it comes with its own special little case. So you can put it right in your drawer. It like stays in its special little home. That's how special it is. I'm telling you, this knife is fantastic. I chopped that chicken in no time, hands down. The best thing I think I have in my kitchen is this knife. So, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go grab some wine and we'll talk about that. Okay, here we are. The meal is done. I wanna now just get into a little bit of wine. Like I said, we're gonna take the ordinary and turn it into something extraordinary. This is what I'm talking about. I love wine, I love pairing it with my food. It really brings my food to a whole different level. So maybe it's something that you already do, maybe it's something you're curious about. So either way, maybe you'll get a little inspired or even leave me feedback below in the comments about your favorite wines. Okay, so I'm gonna pair this with a Chardonnay. Because of the creaminess and the nuttiness of the risotto, Chardonnay has a lot of those qualities. The Chardonnay that I'm actually picking is um, not like your quintessential Chardonnay or your traditional Chardonnay. It's a little bit more fruit forward. Uh, this Chardonnay is good for those who maybe don't love Chardonnay so much. Um, I love Chardonnay, but this is a really good one too. This comes from a site that I purchase my wines on. It's called NakedWines.com. Scott Peterson is the winemaker that made this one. Since you probably or may not have a membership to Naked Wines, um, I would recommend Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. Very, very nice, smooth, not too oaky or buttery if you're a little bit of timid of Chardonnays. Um, also, Aldi's has a really good one because um, it's so cheap and it's good though. It's called William Wright. I think it's like $6.99. So check that one out too. It's very drinkable. This one is $11.99. Um, but like I said, we get it like half off um, at Naked Wine. So it would sell for like well over 20. Okay, so we're gonna try that with the risotto and see how it all tastes. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so the risotto had some time to cool off. I added some extra shavings of Parmesan cheese right on top because I like the way it looks. Stop. I can't believe I just cooked that in the microwave. I am not kidding you. Okay, now with the wine. Oh, man. Wow. Extraordinary right here. You serve this to your family or your friends, have some friends over, or even by yourself with a nice glass of wine with some music playing as you unwind from your day. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. This is fantastic. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'm so excited. Send me a message. Um, there's lots of ways you can get these products. If you've been inspired, please check them out. You can do so on my website. I will have that in the credits. If you're interested in doing this in your home, I do this for people in their home. And we have shows and I have cooking shows. I have a lot of other tricks up my sleeves. I can bring them to your home, show your friends or your family or a combination of, of everybody um, some wonderful recipes and get them cooking and get some new ideas brewing for everybody. So at any rate, it's been a blast and I hope that uh, you enjoy your friends, your family and have some fun and cheers and live well. Mm -hmm.